Hi guys. You've probably noticed I've been using these Sterodent tablets which are supposed to be for cleaning your dentures and I've been using them to power my rocket powered planes and boats and the rockets on their own. Well this tube is nearly empty. There's 30 in a tube And there's one one tablet left in there but the tube itself looks to me like it might work as a rocket it's not a terribly strong seal on there so I don't know how well it'll work it probably just jump up like that or something but I'm gonna stick some fins on it to make it into a rocket I don't know if the camera will pick it up but conveniently it's got four lines there that I can use to line up the fins. So I'll draw some lines down here in line with them and then stick some polystyrene, the same stuff that these wings are made out of, as the fins. And then we can go and see if it works. I'll just cut up one of these polystyrene or styrofoam plates to make the fins. need to have a little step on the bottom to make room for the lid. So there we go, that's four fins. So I'll draw those lines up the sides so we can line them up. These have got a very slight curve to them, which might help. It might actually make it spin a bit when it goes up in the air. And that should increase its um, accuracy, I was going to say. Distance, I hope. If it actually goes at all, it all depends on how well the lid seals. I don't know if I'll put a little bit of polystyrene on top just to soften the blow if it hits anybody. I'll cut up a little bit of polystyrene and stick it on there. Just had an alternative idea. This is um, kitchen scourer sponge foam. I'll cut that and stick it on top for safety. Ah, that should soften the blow if it accidentally hits anybody. If it gets up to any height Oh god, I don't know if I got it because I wasn't looking and I jumped. <laughs> that went much better than I expected. <laughs> Well, that was typical. That one went off when I was fiddling with the camera trying to get the angle right. 
so I doubt whether I got any of it.